Good morning, Virgo, and welcome to my channel. This is the Oracle of Zoraya Utrenaya, and today I'll be doing a reading for you for the week of August the 26th to September the 1st, 2024. Now, this uh, week is kind of special. It's kind of mirroring the energies of the Lionsgate portal, the 888 portal, which was on August the 8th, 2024, because August the 26th, 2024, broken down numerologically, is an 888 date as well. So that's pretty cute. So I will be shuffling all the cards today six times because eight plus eight plus eight is 24 and four plus two is six, okay? Now, I apologize for all the lateness of the videos. I have been going through a bit of a spiritual journey, <laughs> uh, to say the least, and um, I appreciate your understanding for that. All right. Okay, so the first column we're going to be doing is the passing energy. So this is recently passing or currently passing, okay? So we're starting off with the Page of Swords. Um, perhaps you have been needing to do some research on something uh, you, or you've had some communication that has come in for you that has led to your healing uh, or there's some sort of communication coming in for you with respect to uh, some employment or maybe you are uh, really analyzing right now whether or not, or you have been analyzing right now, whether or not whatever you are uh, pursuing or um, whatever you are doing right now to make money, is it worth it? Are you getting out of it what you are putting into it? And is it nourishing you? And is it fulfilling you? Okay, because we have the Page of Swords, like I had mentioned, and then we have the Star. Uh, the Star is Aquarius. Perhaps that full moon in Aquarius that we just had was intense for you, and it made you uh, introspect a lot about what's important to you and what's not, uh, and if energy that you are outputting or that you're giving to something, be it a person, uh, a relationship, a friendship, um, or uh, a hobby or a habit or uh, your employment. So if you are, be, is it is the energy that you are putting into something being reciprocated back to you and are you being nourished? And does it give your life purpose? Is it your North Star? Okay, and so you're analyzing these things right now because we have the Seven of Pentacles as well. So this is in your passing energy. We're gonna go through the cards a little bit more individually once I have the spread. Okay, now the second column is going to be about current energies for this week. All right, we have the Queen of Wands, which is really nice uh, energy. She gets, she goes after what she wants. All right, she's very bold, she's very assertive. Then we have the King of Pentacles. Uh, this is Earth energy, so, uh, so this can be, um, I don't usually focus on love, but this can be um, a stable person coming in for you. So we do have a queen and we have a king. Um, they don't necessarily have to be in the same suit to be comp uh, 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 comp compatible. Sorry, um, but so the you know the. So this can be love, so coming in for you, so take it how it resonates. It can be a fire sign or it can be an earth sign. I also get Aquarius here with the star as well, so take it how it resonates. This is um, a general reading, but this can be someone that is bold and assertive, has some passion, and is very down to earth and very stable in their finances, okay? Now, um, this, I don't usually focus on love. I usually focus on personal development. So that being said, uh, you can be encapsulating these uh, archetypes as well. Okay, and then we have the nine of wands. We have the nine of wands indicating that you need to keep going. You need to keep pursuing whatever it is that you are working on. And we're going to uh, get into that a little bit more. The nine of swords here is in your up and coming energy. So two nines, uh, you're approaching the completion of some sort of cycle here, okay? And any sort of um, anxieties, 
you might be uh, having some sleepless nights or you might be having some sort of anxieties here. Um, let me see what else we got here. Um, with respects to something that you are trying to build, Virgo, okay? Uh, but know that you are uh, leaving things that do not serve you. And this is, in, this is why you need to be analyzing here with the Seven of Pentacles to the King of Pentacles and the Nine of Swords, um, you need to analyze if you're being reciprocated with the energy. And if you're not, you need to start, you need to leave these things because they are not serving you. And you need to find something that nourishes you, right? With the star. And with the King of Pentacles, you are being encouraged here to uh, think outside the box. Now, the King of Pentacles, you know what? We're going to get to that in a minute. Just hold on. Um, uh, yes. Okay. And then we have uh, messages coming in from the universe. Okay. So this is the last column here. We have the King of Cups, the Tower, and we have the Emperor. So you are trying to build some self-reliance here. You are trying to be the empire in your own life. And there is going to be some sort of catalyst here. And I think uh, like with the Tower. Okay. And I think... Uh, it is going to happen around the eclipses that are happening in September. I think the portal of this change for you is happening now. It's starting this week. We do have eclipses starting in September. There is a lunar eclipse, I believe, in the teens somewhere, maybe on the 18th or something like that. Uh, it is a lunar eclipse. And so we do have an eclipse on the Eight of Cups here. So um, instead of me rambling on, let's get a little bit into the cards individually. And then um, so we can I can kind of explain things a little bit better. All right. Okay. So with the Page of Swords here is where I'm getting the, the vibes of, so this is in the passing energy, all right? We have the, the Page of, uh, no, not the Page of Wands, the Page of Swords. We have the Star. And then we have the Seven of Pentacles, okay? So let's start here. There, there might have been some information uh, coming in for you. So uh, we did have Mercury in retrograde uh, come uh, for the last three weeks. And Mercury is actually direct this for this during this week that this reading is for on the Wednesday, the 28th of September. So um, perhaps you've been waiting for some communication to come in uh, for quite some time. And uh, maybe some things have been lacking uh, with respects to that. Um, and I think that things are going to be moving forward a little bit better for you once this Mercury goes direct on Wednesday, September the 28th. Now, the Page of uh, Swords is also a card that uh, illustrates and um, encapsulates needing to do your own research and needing to perhaps see what else is out there for you, okay? Because you know, you're being encouraged here or you like considering this is in the passing energy, perhaps you have already been putting your feet out into the waters, as they say. I don't know if that's a saying or not, but putting your feet out into the waters to see what kind of other opportunities are available for you that are reciprocal in the energy. Maybe you're not getting paid enough money right now. Okay. Maybe uh, you work really long hours and you go above and beyond what is expected of you at work. And um, but a lot of other people are getting credit for what you do or maybe other people take uh, the credit for you or um, there's a lot of nepotism at work. So it's people's friends getting promotions and not you when you're the one that deserves it. Maybe you don't have benefits. Maybe uh, you don't have enough vacation time. So what it's going to look differently for every one of you because this is a general reading. But you see here, this gentleman on the Seven of Pentacles, he has planted these seeds, right? And now they have germinated and they are growing. And so he's he's looking at them and he's analyzing them to what to see whether or not the crop that he wants has yielded itself to be whatever it is he was expecting. Okay, so has the seeds that you planted produced the yield that you would like to see? So this is an analogy for 
whether or not you're getting out of a situation, what you're putting into it. So you're at the, the energy that you're getting back should be at least at equal or better to what you're putting into something, right? So this doesn't necessarily even have to be work, uh, considering it, like it, it could be here because we do have the pentacles, the seven of pentacles with the king of pentacles here, right? And it's like about building something here. I don't really get love here, but it can be about relationships as well. So maybe this is something that is encapsulating. Maybe this is some of the introspection you have been going on maybe during this full moon in Aquarius that we just passed, which was really, really intense. Maybe this is something that you have been uh, reflecting upon. So um, it, with respects to relationships, right? Are you doing the work or, or are you the only one doing the work and the other person is not putting in any effort to meet you in the middle? Um, are you the one that's trying to do to change to be better and the other one has it? Or maybe you don't resonate at the same frequency anymore with your significant other or perhaps even with a friend group. OK, so be, um, so like it's going to look differently for every one of you. All right. So. Take it how it resonates, but know that whatever it is that you spend your time on, my dear Virgo, it should nourish you. Any sort of relationship, any sort of endeavor, and I feel here that, you know, considering we have the Emperor and we have the Page of Wands and the Queen of Wands here and the King of Pentacles and the King of Cups, like a lot of like royalty, okay, we have a lot of court cards and we have the emperor here as well so you're being encouraged to step into your own power here so maybe you need to start looking to being an entrepreneur um or finding something in a managerial position uh where you are being appreciated for what you do okay because like if you are not then like being an entrepreneur and owning your business this is something that i have been dealing with my myself is because i realized i got laid off in twice in the past two years and i will go over above and beyond what is expected of me and then i'm easily discarded right we're easily replaceable we're just a number so why would I work hard for someone else when I can work hard for myself and gain know that I'm and then I can I'm appreciated of myself um, and I will I'm willing to work extra hard for myself because I know that I what I'm doing is is for the right reason right it's nourishing me I appreciate what I'm doing because it is serving a purpose. I feel like I have a purpose. I have meaning in my life because I'm following a North Star. So perhaps this whole passing energy here of you like thinking about what has been working for you, what has not, do you have to pivot? Maybe this is, uh, you know, are you being appreciated where you are in your, in your job right now or wherever you are, if this is a relationship as well? What is the meaning of your life? Maybe this is this this is the culmination thought of what has been passing by, the energy that has been passing by, that has been making you go introspective, okay? What is your North Star? What gives you meaning? What gives your life purpose? And needing to have self-care. You can't work, work, work all the time and not uh, take care of your body, not eat well, not exercise, not have fun either, okay? So this is all in the passing energy here. Um, where was this? It was, this was here. And I'm going to show this to you right now. Now we have right here, we have the seven of pentacles going up to the king of pentacles and then going up to the, the nine of, of swords, right? So the nine of swords is a card that illustrates anxieties and sleepless nights. So perhaps because we are going up from the seven of pentacles to the king of pentacles to the nine of swords, maybe, you know, you haven't been making ends meet lately. And if this can definitely be uh, understandable if you've already started to be an entrepreneur. Okay. And, um, 
even with this card before, like maybe you are just starting out to be an entrepreneur and you're you're trying to figure out how to maximize your cash flow coming in for you. What can you do differently, right? Because we have here the King of Pentacles. Now, the King of Pentacles, he has established wealth and he's quite comfortable in his life, okay? He is quite rich. And, but the methods that he has u utilized in the past to establish his wealth are his, are his tried and true methods. And he does not like to deviate from these methods. And so I feel um, that you are analyzing what's working for you and what's not working for you in the situation that you are in right now. But you're being asked not to be stubborn with respects to... Uh, how you uh, make the this money or or like what how you get your crop to grow as they would say okay because the the methods that have been working in the past for you or for other people to make money are, are might not work anymore we need to start thinking outside of the box okay and this is going to help you alleviate any sort of stress and anxieties that you might be having about money right now okay you see here this is a comfort blanket you need to step out of the comfort zone you need to try some new things that perhaps um are not in your repertoire of strategies that you would have utilized before you need to be resourceful okay you need to uh, start thinking outside of the box. What has worked in the past might not work now. The financial system is changing. And I'm not going to get into it right now because we're already at 16 minutes. But if you want more information about how the financial systems are changing or globally, go to my playlist and check out. Um, there's a playlist about the financial system. Okay, and definitely uh, there's some information that you might want to check out. Okay, now we have the Queen of Wands here in the current energy as well with, with the King of Pentacles, all right, and the Nine of, of, of Wands. Okay, so let's start with the Queen. The Queen of Pentacles, she is bold, assertive. She goes after what she wants, okay, and she's unapologetic about it. She has a lot of passion, a lot of drive, and a lot of impetuous energy. And the same goes with the Page of Wands, okay? The Page of Wands is a lesser interpretation of the Knight of Wands, who is the builder of the tarot, okay? You are building something here, Virgo. And then we have the Emperor here, too, in, the, in your messages from the universe. So you have the Page of Wands, the, the, the Queen of Wands, so a lot of fire energy here. And with the emperor is Aries. So going after what you want. The motto for Aries is I am. So what do you want to be? Who are you, Virgo? And with along with the, the star card, when I was talking about following your north star, you see here how there is a, a sunflower here uh, on the queen of wands card. And the sunflower is... They follow the sun. They're, the face of the flower follows the sun throughout the sky through the whole day. So this is kind of the similar energy of following your North Star. You're following the sun. You're following what gives you nourishment. You're following what gives your life meaning and purpose. And then things are going to the, things are going to flow to you a lot more naturally and not a lot more easily when you do something with your life that doesn't feel like work, that it feels like you're fulfilling your destiny, right? And then things are gonna move, it come to you a lot more easier, okay? And, you know, stepping into the, the King of Pentacles energy, he's grounded, this is Taurus energy as well. Okay, so enjoying, uh, you know, and this is beside the star here, Okay, so nourishing yourself, enjoying earthly pleasures as well. So making sure that you're going out into nature, making sure that you are exercising, enjoying good food, enjoying the pleasures of life as well while you are trying to establish whatever this is that you are trying to establish here, which is your own empire, Virgo. All right. So we need to balance out everything, work and play and indulgences as well. And the nine of, of wands here is just a card of perseverance and 
persistence and needing to keep on going on whatever it is that you are building. Okay, this is the order it's coming in here, right? We have the seven of, the, it, this is the last row at the bottom, the seven of pentacles, you're analyzing what's working, what's not. You are building something new here with a lot of energy and passion and you're being encouraged to keep going despite any hiccups because this is where you're gonna end up here. You're gonna end up as the, the emperor, all right? Now, um, Yes, and then, so I already touched base about the nine of, of wands. So this is, might be like, you're you're stressing out about money, okay? Um, but there's going to be some sort of big catalyst that's happening, and I believe it's going to be around the eclipses here. Because we have here, we have the eight of cups. Eight of cups is leaving things that no longer serve you, and that is what you've been analyzing here this whole time, right? You've been you're seeing what's working, what's not, and you are walking away from people, places, things, situations that do not serve your highest purpose, that do not that impede on your ability to follow your north star. Okay, we don't need any any low vibrational frequencies pulling us down, holding us back. We've done too much work. We've healed a lot, right? You've healed a lot, Virgo. Okay. Don't let anybody bring you back down to where you were before. You, you're so much worth it, okay? You're, you're walking towards the nine of cups, which is fulfillment, contentment, spiritual fulfillment, okay? And uh, you see here that this is an eclipse. Now, like I said, I think like in a couple weeks, actually, there's going to be a lunar eclipse. And this is what's coming right after it, right, is the tower. So you have Aries here and you also have the tower, which is Mars. Mars is quite significant right now as well. Um, I think Saturn and Mars are doing something in the sky right now. Don't quote me on that. But there is going to be some sort of catalyst for you, some sort of tower moment here. And you are being encouraged with the king of cups here on like, so this is like on the top of here on the messages from the universe, the king of cups, he, he's sitting in choppy waters here. So this is like chaos. Okay. Your world might be chaotic or this tower moment might be chaotic here for you, but you're being encouraged to really tap into your stoicism, your ability to regulate your emotions. He doesn't allow the external world. So this could even be the external world falling apart during this eclipse, like a lot of collapse is happening. And yeah, definitely watch my financial system videos, but there could be a lot of uh, collapses going on that's creating chaos in the world, but you are good. You're focusing on building something in your own life. And this is what we should all be focusing on right now is building something in our immediate community, in our in immediate lives and not too hyper-focused on what's happening. That's going to happen. That needs to happen out there in order for us to step into the uh, more community oriented diplomacy and like gov governance. Okay. So he, this, this King is also very psychic and in, t in tune with his emotions. So listen to your emotions and what they're telling you with respects to whatever this collapse. This could even be like, um, like a, you might lose your job. I'm not saying but this is not a bad thing. This is going to, this is because this is all pushing you to become your own emperor and step into your true authentic power here. Okay. So it, it's going to be different for everyone, but not, not every tower moment is bad. Okay. Tower moments are sometimes need, they need to happen because we are too far gone off from reality to see the forest for the trees and opportunities that are right in front of our faces. Okay, so if you, so you have the choice here, my dear Virgo, to see whether or not you are going to jump out of this burning tower with intent because you see what's happening and to seize opportunity or are you going to wait too long and be thrown out or get pushed out? Okay, so are you in control of your life? Or are you the product of the external environment only? Okay. 
so and with with the king of cups here being in control of his emotions being in control of himself while the there's chaos all around him is helping you step into this king uh the emperor he's always ready to go you see how he has a cloak on here but he has armor on underneath so he's ready to go and he's ready for the tower moment whenever it comes destruction brings change and where where things are falling apart it's the perfect opportunity for you to grow something new right all right i hope this was good for you my dear virgo okay we're already at 25 minutes i'm gonna pick an animal oracle card here for you and then uh, we'll call it a day so it's been quite a long video i haven't done one in a long time so maybe you're still here watching so thank you if you are i'm just gonna do it three times okay one two and three and we have the cat all right so this is the cat let me just find that here sorry and we will stop end with this all right you are a natural healer your intuition is strong you don't have to go with the crowd life supports you in every way cats are unpredictable independent and mysterious creatures they love the night cat people are highly selective when they choose friends and would be advised to guard against being so picky they become reclusive cat as totem brings psychic gifts and creativity cats are in constant communication with spirit and bridge the world of the seen and the unseen who has not witnessed a cat looking around an empty room as though following a ghost they will shuffle away from unsavory situations and step away from problems right the seven of pentacles if you are a cat person pay close attention to the felines in your life reach out with your questioning mind and ask them to share their secrets listen to the intuition they share watch their body language learn their subtleties cats are healers they live in the now. They are natural yogis. Place them on your lap and pet them. Their counterclockwise energy rotation will mingle with your clockwise spin and neutralize negative energy and set the world right. If cat is your totem, you are blessed with many lives and many chances. Remember that your supernatural insights will guide you. Pamper yourself like the cat and remember how good it is to be your content self. Some things to keep in mind are, have you become isolated because of being too selective? Has laziness made you forget your zest for living? Has life's challenges got you up a tree? Don't let the dogs bug you. If this reading resonated for you, my dear Virgo, please hit that like button and subscribe to my channel if that is something that you'd like to do. You can also hit that bell notification to let you know when I release new videos. And if you want a more holistic approach as to what is going on with your week, not only check out your sun sign, but also your moon, your rising, and your Venus. I am truly grateful for all of the energy you brought me here today. Thank you so much for watching. I hope you have a wonderful, wonderful week.